Hi, I'm Lisa Challenger and welcome to another edition of Beach and Beyond. And today we are at the Pocomoke River State Park. This is just a beautiful park south of Snow Hill and I'm with Angie Peace who is the lead ranger. ranger. And we have a special new guest here, a new resident, I should say, at the Pocomoke River State Park. Angie, welcome to the show. Oh, thank you. And tell us a little bit about who we have here and how the public is going to be able to engage with him. Oh, wonderful. This is a juvenile bald eagle. He's with us from Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Uh, he was actually found in somebody's backyard, a little bit malnourished because he's unable to eat. He has a beak malformity, um, congenital. So he's not able to eat his food on his own. Uh, that's actually why we have him the Scales and Tails program. Um, Scales and Tails is a program that we have here at Pocomoke River State Park and across the state of Maryland that houses injured and imprinted birds, thing, animals that can't survive on their own, and he's one of them. So he's just being so well behaved for being so new to this whole public arena. He is. He actually has been in captivity for a year. So he's okay. been around people for a year okay. while not standing on people's hands. He is actually, a little, he's used to people enough that he's comfortable okay. here. And the Scales and Tails program, do you take that out to the schools? Uh, how, do, how do kids and, and families and people get to participate in that? We do take it out to schools. We, we have programs here at the park. We also take it out to schools, Boy Scout groups, Girl Scout groups, um, all over the place. And it spreads messages. So with each bird, or a reptile, which we ha have as well. Um, they each have a message that goes along with them and they help us to spread important conservation messages. He is just beautiful. Now tell us a little bit, do you, you've got another program called Feathers in Focus coming we up? We do. There is a Feathers in Focus photo shoot coming on November 2nd um, from 10 in the morning till 1 o'clock. And it gives photographers an, photographers an opportunity to photograph some of the birds. And oh. that will be his debut performance. So oh. he'll be out here for photographers to take pictures of him on November Great. 2nd. Great, so they can get a really up close uh, view compared to out in the wild. And in addition to the scales and tails and the feather in focus, you've also got, you know, with fall coming up and the leaves changing, I believe you've got a canoe trip on the river and people can come and paddle and check out the fall foliage. Yes. On October 5th from 3 to 5 we do have a paddle and um, the leaves should be beautiful out in the creek and we'll go around the creek out into the river and back in. So okay. it should be a wonderful paddle. I mean this is just such a great park and I know we're so close to the beach and people think of Assateague but you've got the river and the marina and lots of day use facilities and mm -hmm. uh, it's just a whole different experience than the beach because of all the woods in the mm -hmm. middle of this great Pocomoke River State Park and forest. And um, this is wonderful. Look at him looking around. Uh, I, I guess we are going to say goodbye to him for now, but folks who want to come out, we've got lots of programs coming up mm -hmm. this fall. And uh, check out the Pocomoke River State Park website. And we're in Shad Landing, and there is Milburn Landing, but it is the Pocomoke River State Park. Mm -hmm. And uh, check the website out for all those dates and events. Angie, it was so nice talking to you today, and thanks for sharing, uh, getting a little sneak preview of your, your new resident eagle. He's beautiful. Wonderful. Thank, Thank you for you. coming out. Thank you.